Welcome to my humble homestead and garden side chat. Today, I want to talk about what's all the fuss about magnesium, why it's so important, and how do you know if you're deficient in it? So many of us are deficient in magnesium. Actually, about three-fourths of the population is deficient in magnesium. That comes from many different studies. Uh, some say, you know, between 80 to 90% of the population is deficient in magnesium. Why is that? What is the causes? How can you find out? And what are some great and easy ways to add magnesium back into our systems? That is what I'm going to talk about today. So let's get started. The number one cause of magnesium deficiency is the diet. Diets, the food that we eat, the American Standard Diet today is just really not working for us. The processed foods, the, you know, basically just the depleted foods, and especially sugar. Sugar is probably the worst thing that depletes the minerals in our body. So that would be the number one thing that depletes magnesium in our bodies. Uh, so number two, the pharmaceutical drugs and estro estrogen components. So things like antibiotics, oral con uh, contraception, blood pressure medication, uh, those are all things that can also deplete the magnesium in our bodies. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, and then finally also the, um, the soil. You know, the soil that our food grows in, this is from the modern farming technologies. So just even the soil that our fruit and so the fruit and vegetables that we get today is depleted in magnesium just because our soil does not get it. So, you know, if you're not growing your own food, um, a lot of times if you grow your own food and you notice like the, the leaves are curling or things like that, you can add Epsom salt. So when you're seed, planting seeds and things like that, you can mix Epsom salt into your into your soil and that can add some magnesium into it. But yeah, our soil is just so depleted as well. A lot of times we think of magnesium for muscle, like muscle aches and things. I know, uh, you know, a lot of us will take a bath and soak in Epsom salt when we have muscle aches. I do that. Last night I took a, a magnesium supplement. I try to take these. I don't, they actually make me sleep really well. So I took this from my muscle because I worked in the garden and I had such a hard time waking up this morning because I took an extra one. And so, yeah, I, well, I shouldn't say I, did, I had a hard time getting up. I slept in, which is a little bit unusual for me because I, I like to get up in the morning. I like to get a lot of my things done before work. But I, you know, on my defense as well, not that I really need one because, you know, sleeping in till eight o'clock is, you know, probably something, you know, I like to get a good at least eight hours of sleep. But I, you know, I work till 11 o'clock at night, so I probably didn't fall asleep till closer to one. But uh, yeah, but I always feel like, oh, I waste half the morning if I, <laughs> if I sleep past like seven, you know. So anyway, but this, I took, I took an extra one last night just because I knew I'd be sore from, you know, digging and I, you know, I got most of the rest of the things that I needed to get in the garden planted yesterday. I have a few other things coming. And then once I get everything planted, I'll show you my, my garden and and uh, the process as things grow and come up and I harvest and stuff like that. So I'm excited. But anyway, so that I took the magnesium supplement. Um, but muscle aches is one thing that magnesium is great for and, and soaking in Epsom salt, which I'll talk a little bit more about that because that's really important. But it does actually work on over 200 enzymatic reactions in our bodies. So this, it is really important for a lot of things. I mean, just so many. Um, this includes the, our, our, um, our energy responses. So if you feel real sluggish, fatigue, 
I know when I get really fatigued, I know that's probably the first thing I realize is, you know, I'm, I'm low in magnesium. So our protein formation, uh, blood sugars and blood pressure regulators. So it does help regulate your blood pressure and your blood sugars, uh, temperature regulate regulator, bone health and hair health, um, teeth health so that that's all good for magnesium as well dna synthesis um, our nervous system so that's really important for the nervous system detoxification so magnesium is just super important for our overall health and well-being that's just one thing that's really important um so what are symptoms of magnesium deficiency so the number one first symptom overall that people might not realize, but constipation. So if you're constipation, if you're constipated, more than likely you are magnesium deficient. And one rule of thumb that we've always like used to joke about in um, when I was studying nutrition back in med school is, Take enough magnesium, and when you when your body your body tells you you have enough when you start having diarrhea, <laughs> that's when you back off. So that was always the rule of thumb and the joke. So um, yeah, how much magnesium do you take? Well, take enough when you have diarrhea. You know you have enough. Back off. So that was the joke. But yeah, if you're constipated, that is the number one sign that you are magnesium deficient. So you need magnesium in your in your system if that's 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 the one thing you know i mean and if you're in a hospital and you are constipated like you're on medications what do they bring you they bring you milk of magnesia i mean it's that's the number one thing your body needs so also sugar cravings if you're craving sugar isn't that funny because i know before i started eating like i don't i don't eat sugar i eat it like okay so i'll very in very rarely like my son had a birthday last weekend and we did get him a Dairy Queen cake so I had a piece of that but other you know maybe a few times a year will I eat sugar I, when I when I make you know make something here I use the raw cane sugar I use the monk sweetener uh, or honey you know things like that but I generally don't eat sugar in my diet so before I used to crave sugar, like I wanted sweet things. So isn't that interesting that when you're magnesium deficient, you actually crave sugar. So that's another really good thing to know. Um, restless leg syndrome. I know people who have restless leg syndrome and I know someone who had it so severe, they actually had to be medically treated for it. So that's one thing to look at if you have restless leg syndrome. Um, and then muscle cramping. I do know that when I do not get enough magnesium and also potassium, potassium is good, which is why I do take the apple cider vinegar, but magnesium, especially you get muscle cramping, especially at night. So that's one thing I notice when my magnesium is down, um, high blood pressure. So people with high blood pressure, you might want to check if you're, if you need more magnesium as well. So that might be something that will help with that. You know, some people who don't want to take medication or maybe you're trying to lower it or get off it, just try to add some extra magnesium in your diet and see if that helps. Um, anxiety and depression. It's funny because I notice that I am much calmer when I add these into my diet too. I think I get more like anxious. Maybe it is more stress and anxious like, Oh, I got to get this done. I have this done. But I notice when I, especially because I did start taking this molasses ev like faithfully every day. And it's just, I just let things roll off more easily. It's like, you know, it is what it is. I have to get my house together, but I'm out gardening and it's like, okay, well, oh, and I got to, I got to put these things around my tree. And I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to get that done on Friday when I have off. I'm not going to stress over it. It just rolls off easier. So I do notice my moods and my stress level, and I just don't get as anxious um, about things. Like, little things, like I sometimes get, like if I'm going to be 
you know, if I'm not at my desk a minute before my break time is up, <laughs> it's so funny. I'd be like, oh my gosh. You know, now it's like, okay, well, you know what? I have a 10 minute break. If I'm not at my desk at eight or nine minutes, if I'm click, you know, I have till 10 minutes and 30 seconds, it will be okay. <laughs> I, it's so funny how I get so bent out of shape about things like that. I'm like a stickler about time. You know, I get to my desk at least 30 to 60 minutes before I start. And, but, you know, I'm just calmer when I notice that I have the magnesium in my body. It's, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll tell you all my little weird things, right? So, anyway, so... And insomnia. So just like I said, you know, I probably needed that extra hour of sleep this morning. Uh, so that magnesium, definitely. I sleep hard. I sleep well. I dream. I mean, it is really good sleep with making sure I have that magnesium. So, you know, doing it with these things is great, but if you want to make sure you're sleeping well, add a magnesium supplement. And I think for me, I notice I, if I take my magnesium supplement a little bit earlier in the evening, like if I take it on my last break, I have my last break somewhere around 8 p.m., then I notice I'm not, I, I can get up easier in the morning. So that's a little tip for myself. But, oh, it helps me sleep so well. Now, some, I talked to a lot of people. They take magnesium in the morning, and it doesn't bother them at all. But I take the gel caps. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe I'm just more sensitive with supplements and things like that. But, I don't know. I take it at night. It helps me sleep, and I, I notice. <laughs> so, anyway. So, um, insomnia, seizures. If some people have some seizure disorders or things like that, they could be low in magnesium. Um, fatigue, chronic back pain. I notice that I do have back pain and muscle pain and things like that. If I'm magnesium deficient, migraines. So I, we all know I have migraines, but I do get more headaches when I am magne magnesium deficient. I, that is, I notice in my overall diet. I mean, I know, like I always talk about healing my body from the inside out, so, I mean, I've just noticed there are a couple things, you know, like I added the raw honey and then adding this um, unsulfured molasses, which is loaded with magnesium in it that I, I really have noticed uh, some, some things, you know, so I'm going to continue um, adding the, keeping the magnesium the best that I can. So yeah. And uh, brain fog. Well, <laughs> I try. I let's hope it helps that let's just let's just be real right uh, but anyway so yeah brain fog well it could you know I'm always like oh my words you know so let's let's hope that's part of the magnesium and that and I'll just be consistent with that too um, and then you know aggression people don't really think of this but have you all wondered why we have more angry people in the world today and road rage and things like that. We are so magnesium deficient. I'm not gonna say, give everybody a pass and say, hey, you're magnesium deficient. That's why you shot up that person or, you know, no. But P aggression is definitely a symptom of magnesium deficiency. So, you know, sometimes I'm like, why am I so grouchy today? Why do I feel so, ugh, you know? And I know that if I'm not staying up on the things that my body needs, I can tell the effects of it. I really can. So if you're feeling any of these symptoms or you're thinking, you know, you can, you can go ahead and get a blood test, okay? But let me tell you something. The standard blood test is not necessarily gonna show that you're magnesium deficient. Now, I have had ones that have when I've been really ill, but generally it's not um, going to show because what happens is your body will automatically pull the magnesium out of your bones and your cells just to kind of keep, keep your blood levels normal so that your heart um, operates properly. That's just what it does. 
So if you really want to check your magnesium levels, I mean, if that's something you really want to do, you can ask for blood test. Yeah, a red BC blood test. That is the one that shows the actual magnesium. And I know it should be between 6 and 6.5. You want it to be on the higher of your level. So that's the one that you'll want to ask for. You can also do a hair, like a hair magnesium test. But in all reality, um, what is really important is just to add it in. So, you know, foods that we can eat that have it are those leafy greens and nuts and things like that. But, you know, you need to get lots of them, especially with the depleted soil. Another, so another good way is the magnesium supplement. So I take one of these every night. You can get the big bottles at Costco. They're a lot cheaper or, you know, magnesium isn't really very expensive. So just, you know, try to get a good brand. I like the gel ones. The gel ones seem to, I don't know, they just seem to work better for me, I think. But you can, whatever it works. Um, and then I did do that video on the secret superfood. And that would be the unfiltered organic blackstrap molasses. This is loaded with minerals, you guys. This one is super high in the magnesium, but it also has the potassium, selenium, calcium, iron. I mean, it is just loaded. So if you're not every single day eating tons of those leafy greens, nuts, just add a good tablespoon a day. I've been taking a tablespoon. Some people take two. Um, I literally... I'll like spoon it over my tea and just take a tablespoon and whatever falls, whatever drips into my tea, I use that as sweetener too. But this is good for children too. So you can literally, I mean, if you take some um, honey or some, uh, some of the raw cane sugar, you can heat it up and make actually pancake syrup with it or, or just, you know, they'll, they'll get used to liking it. You know, um, it, it has a, you know, it has a strong taste, but it's not horrible. So just take that every day. And that gives you a great, 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 great um, amount of magnesium. Now, Epsom salt. What I want to say about Epsom salt, it is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful way to get magnesium. What's super great is that, especially for like muscle pains, the actually a wonderful way to get magnesium is to absorb it through the skin and absorbing it through the body. So if you could either take a bath with Epsom salt in it or even soak your feet like two to three times a week, that is one of the most amazing ways to get magnesium into your system. Oh, even, you know, another thing which is really great is I know like when my boys were growing up and they were really into sports and things, I know some of their friends and things like that, you know, they would have like athlete's foot or things like that, you know, from locker rooms. You could take Epsom salt with some apple cider vinegar and soak your feet in it. So if you do that, that is a great natural way to cure like any of the fungal things, you know, so you could, that's, that's a great way. And you'd be getting the magnesium too. But um, but taking a bath in this is really great because it does absorb through, through the skin. And then, like I said, it does help the plants, especially flowering plants like tomatoes, roses, you know, any kind of plant that flowers. If you just uh, mix that with water and then pour it into your soil or you can mix it in when you're first, you know, composting or planting your seeds. Also, one thing I learned, which I thought was really cool, is if you live in the city or if you have problems with like raccoons, raccoons hate the smell of Epsom salt, which is funny because I didn't think it had a smell, but they don't like it. So spray it around areas where you might have raccoon problems. So that's a little extra tip that I, that I uh, heard for you. You can use it as an exfoliant. So you can mix it with your soap or like coconut oil. Um, honey also is great too. Mix it with a little honey and rub it on your face and do your exfoliating and then wash it off. Great for hair. So if you have like in the winter, my hair gets so frizzy. So I'm going to try this because I just found this out too. 
put it in with your conditioner and then use it on your hair and it's supposed to help you know just fullness and which is funny I don't definitely don't need the fullness of my hair but the frizziness I have such a problem in the winter so I'm gonna try that great for your hair what else I just know absorbing through the skin is good for magnesium but let me see um, soaking it foot I think that's really all headaches oh for gout flare-ups if you have gout flare-ups that is a huge thing I don't um, you know gout uh, they used to call that the King's disease because it was you know a lot of meat fatty meats a lot of a lot of people who have you know especially a lot of people who are doing the keto diets now too you know if, if it's causing gout soak in the Epsom salt because that magnesium absorbing through your skin really helps gout flare-ups um, sleep mood stress road rage all of those things I covered so yeah so that is the big hot topic of magnesium and that is really what I want to share about it it is something that is so important so important and we actually need magnesium to um, to help our bodies absorb the vitamin D too which is why it's so important for our bones so yeah once again give it a thumbs up like and share share these messages I really put them out there to help you I want us all to really live healthy and naturally and just feel good I want to feel good I want to enjoy life enjoy my kids and grandkids and and enjoy gardening and just be happy you know and just not stress that's really my goal and the things that I learn as I'm studying because really what I'm doing is I'm going through and studying and finding out natural ways that I can um, feel better and then I'm just taking what I, my knowledge that I'm learning and I'm sharing it with you because I want you to feel good too and I'm hoping that these are easy inexpensive ways to share I that's all I want I just want to share the knowledge and let's all be healthy and feel well together thanks so much be blessed y'all and please like and share my videos it does help my channel thanks so much bye